Alright guys, so Christianity and Islam come from the same God. Um, now, obviously this video is going to have a ton of comments. Obviously, angry Christians are going to type on their keyboards, Ah, how dare you! Ah! <laughs> bro, I can just wait. Uh, I can't wait, bro. But I think the reason why I picked Islam over Christianity is actually because of this. Um, it's the realization that Islam was not a different religion than Christianity, but rather an extension of it. Now, what do I mean? When you look at Christianity, who's the prophet? Jesus. But Jesus was also a prophet of Allah. He was also a prophet of God, just like all the other prophets in history. Moses, Adam, like Yusuf, Abraham, like all the prophets before Jesus are recognized in Christianity and were also servants of God. This is why I don't like it when I see Christians or even like atheists that tell me, oh yeah, you worship your God or like your God will allow this. Like, no, it's like, why are you guys saying your God? It's like, there's only one God, bro. Like, dude, there's only one God. Like, what are you doing, bro? What, what are you telling me? You're telling me that there's like multiple gods now? And that the God of Christianity is different than the God of Islam? No, they're no different. They come from, the, there, there's only one God of the universe because there's only one creator of the universe, all right? Now, the way we interpret the scripts are different, right? Christ, Christians think there's a trinity, which might be true or false, right? And then we have our own ways of, in, in, of how we interpret the Quran, right? But we believe in the same God, okay? So, like, when people say, like, your God, as if referring to the God of Islam, it's like, we're not worshiping, like, when we worship Allah, Allah just means God in Arabic, right? So it, just, it, it means God. That, that, that's why I, I try very carefully not to abuse the word Allah all the time because when I say Allah, people are, are think like the, that I'm referring to the God of Islam. But that's not what I'm referring to. When I, when I say Allah, I'm literally referring to God too. Like the God in Christianity and the God in Judaism and the God that people know the created universe. There's only one God. When I say Allah, I'm not talking about a separate God of Islam. It's like that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about God. I'm talking about the higher power that governs this entire universe. There's only one God. Why are you going to think that when I say Allah, I'm only talking about Islam, and then when I talk about God, like, oh, there's another God in Christianity. It's like, no, that's not what it is, right? Now, let me explain, you know, a lot of Christians don't believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, right? Muhammad is the last prophet of the monotheistic religions, right? So there's Judaism, there's Christianity, and there's Islam. What I meant by Islam being an extension of Christianity, not separate, was that Muhammad is just a prophet after Jesus, right? And what Muhammad came down to do was he came down to finalize Christianity. Islam is just a final product of Christianity. It's a refined version of Christianity. Because, and this is what really drew me into Islam and what made me solidify it as, if I was going to pick which one, I was going to pick Islam. Because Islam is the final destination. Here's the thing. I could have picked Christianity. But... If there, was a, if there was a religion after Christianity, like, like Islam, and, and there was a, 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 another prophet after um, Jesus, then it makes sense to follow that message, okay, instead of Jesus. Now, here's the thing. If I was born in Jesus, um, if I was born in the time of Jesus, I would have followed Christianity, right? Why? Because I was born in the time period, okay? So... And Muhammad didn't exist, so I would have basically followed Jesus. And I would have followed Christianity. But Islam came later because Islam just came, Islam is a refinement of Christianity. It's a refined version of Christianity. Because if you look at Islam, it does a lot of things that, it does, it's like a more disciplined version of Christianity. It's like a, they take a step further, right? You're required to wear the hijab in Christianity. I mean, in, in Islam. But in Christianity, you're encouraged to dress modestly. So it's, do you see the difference, guys, in nuance? In Islam, you have to wear the hijab and cover your hair. In Christianity, you're encouraged to dress modestly. So Jesus, I'm pretty sure Jesus was trying to portray the same message, right? And by the way, Jesus' mom, Mary, we believe in Mary too, also wore the hijab. She covered her hair. So she was also Muslim. Now you're like, how, how is that even possible? You, you, you guys are like brain rotting yourself right now. Like probably, you know, like when I say that Jesus was a Muslim. Yes, Jesus and Mary were, you know, they, they're Muslims, right? Jesus was a servant of God. 
just because Islam came after Christianity does not mean that... Okay, like, I know it sounds like really hard to understand and grasp, right? Because you guys think that because Islam came after Christianity, it's more false and it's like, it's like a brand new religion. It's like, no, Islam is not a brand new religion. It's just an extension of Christianity. Because Jesus was, was portraying similar messages to Islam. Like, don't drink, like, don't drink. Like, in, in Islam, you're, you're not even allowed to drink. It's prohibited. In Christianity, you're encouraged not to get drunk. So you see the difference in nuance. Do you see the difference in nuance, guys? In, in Islam, you have to pray five times per day. In Christianity, you're encouraged to pray. In Islam, that's the thing, guys. Islam is more disciplined. It takes a step further. because It's refinement. You can just tell it's refinement. And I'm sure Jesus, during his time of Christianity, like, I'm sure he encouraged everyone to dress modestly. And I'm sure, I'm sure he encouraged people to pray. But Islam just provides more structure. In the Quran specifically, I'm talking about the Quran, right? What I mean by Islam is, because Islam existed before the Quran. Because God has always existed. And the message of God has always ex existed, existed since the beginning of time. But when I talk about Islam, people are referring to the Quran. But the Quran is just a polished, updated version of all the other, before, you know, all the monotheistic religions before Islam. So that's what it is. Because here's the thing. Muhammad is the last prophet. If there was not a prophet, if there was a prophet after Muhammad, I would not have picked Islam. I would have moved on to the next prophet. Because it was the, it was the next truth. The reason why Islam is the truth is because the Quran, which is basically a masterpiece, is the final truth. Okay? So it, that does not mean that Christianity didn't have truth in it. But it just wasn't 100% polished. And it wasn't, there were was still more answers, there were still more revelations from God. Okay? That's why the New Testament, there's the New, so there's the Old Testament, then the New Testament that Christians look at, and the Islam, the Quran, is the final testament. Do you guys understand? We shouldn't invalidate all the testaments, right? Because because the, the Old Testament and the New Testament and, and, and the New Testaments, they have very similar messages to Islam. Okay, but there's a reason why the Quran is the final testament, because it's the final truth. That means there are no prophets that are ever going to appear in history, of at least for humans, for the human species. There is not going to be another prophet ever in history, okay? Because Prophet Muhammad was the last prophet for all of humankind. For, and that's why Islam is the last religion of all of humankind. So that's why I picked Islam, because it's the final destination. If there was another religion after Islam, if there was another prophet after Islam, I would not have picked Islam. Because it would have just been better to just wait for the next religion, right? Or for, right, wait till the next prophet, right? Um, to see updates from God. Like, like think about all the prophets as like updates uh, from God. Like basically messages and updates that God wanted you guys to know. Right? So maybe if you guys were born in, in, in the time of Jesus, you would have been following Christianity as it was. But let's say you lived long enough to discover Islam, then you would have, then you could just switch to Islam. Because it's like, it's like an updated version. It's like a, it's like a software update. You know? That, that doesn't make Christianity not valid but it does but it does still show that okay maybe god has a new entirely new message that's still similar to the old message which was the new testament but this is just the final um revised version of it that's why i picked islam you know i was an atheist and i wasn't really convinced with with, with religion but until like i discovered the the prophethood it makes more sense because all the prophets like all, like every Muslim believes in every single prophet before Muhammad, including Jesus. But it's weird how only Christians don't believe in Prophet Muhammad. They, they, they just completely disregard the last prophet. And I'm like, why are you guys disregarding the last prophet? So, 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 so you guys believe in Moses. You guys believe in Adam. You guys, you guys believe in all the other prophets before Jesus, but not the final one? Like that didn't make sense to me. So th th that's, that's when I knew that there, there's, there's like a, there was like a hole in Christianity. And that's what that it doesn't recognize the last prophet, but Islam recognizes all the prophets, including the last one, which was which was who Muhammad. He was the last messenger. He was the last prophet, right? So now it makes more sense now, you know, because you, when you try to understand Christianity through the context 
of Islam, Christianity makes a lot more sense. Because then you start to view Christianity as a prequel of Islam. It came before. Just like how there's an Old Testament, New Testament, and the Final Testament, which is the Quran. But, so that's why, so that's what it is. But when you try to view Islam through Christianity lens, then you're going to view like, oh, let's, we can completely disregard this other religion that came into existence, that came into existence. When in reality, you don't need to do that. You don't, you don't need to completely disregard Islam or, or Prophet Muhammad. You can just look at it and be like, okay, this is the new update. All right. And you can start, and you, and you can start following that religion. And you can, you can start reading those scriptures. You, like, I think we should all read all this. We should read all the scriptures, the Old Testament, the New, the New Testament, and the Final Testament. We should read all of them. But ultimately, the Final Testament is the Final Testament for a reason. It's the final truth. It's, it's the, Islam is the religion that puts an end to the, to the confusion of what Christianity had. Because maybe like in Christianity, like people were kind of confused, right? Because the Romans invented the Trinity, which is, by the way, not a thing in, in, in the time of Jesus. In the time of Jesus, Jesus never said that he was with God. That was an added line from someone else, a king or some Roman, a Roman invention that came down to insert that phrase of Jesus and God being one. Because I guarantee you, if I rewind time and I meet Jesus and I ask him, bro, are you God? He'll say, no, I'm a servant of God. Because that's nine times that, like, I guarantee you Jesus would have said that. He would have said that he's a servant of God, not God himself. Right, and that's what the Quran explains. The Final Testament explains that Jesus was just merely a servant of Allah. Right? The same God, by the way. Like, we're not... There's only one God in the universe. Okay? So don't say you're God, because my God is the same as yours, bro. Because there's only one God. It's just our interpretation of the scriptures are different. Right? Um, and a lot of people think that the the New Testament kind of got corrupted in the aspect that they added new things in there. Um, whereas the Quran has like guaranteed been preserved. It has, it's been unchanged. So that's part of the reason why I picked this song was because it's the final religion. It makes more sense this way because it didn't make sense for a lot of Christians to completely disregard the last prophet. Like I, I had to have an answer behind this. I was like, why did they just... They, so they recognized all the prophets before Jesus. But then the one after Jesus, which is Muhammad, they just completely disregard him. It didn't make sense. It didn't make sense to me. But when you view it through Islam, then it's like, oh no, they just, there is this new prophet named Muhammad and this religion named Islam. It's just an extension of Christianity. It's just like, it's like a, a sequel. It, it's, it's like you watch season one, season two, and season three. So season one is Judaism, season two is Christianity, and season three is Islam, which is the final season. It's like, then it just makes more sense. It's like, you, you guys just missed an entire season. So when you guys are looking at the Old Testament and the New Testament, you guys are watching season one and two. But you haven't watched a lot last season yet. So you, you, you're, you're still missing plot. You're still missing all this information that you, you could have had, which is the Quran. Quran is the, is the last season. The Quran is the last final season. Okay? You guys just need to read it. <laughs> all right? Like, guys, that's how you do it. Okay? Christianity and Islam are the same religion. They come from the same God. It's just Islam is an extension of Christianity. Okay? That, so that's why when I watched the final season, which is basically the final tes te testament of, you know, which is the Quran, when I read it, and it explained how Jesus was also a God of, of uh, a servant of God, and, you know, all the other prophets in existence were also the same, then it just made more sense, you know? So, as opposed to Jesus being a God himself. And I was like, yo, wait, what? Like, how is a human supposed to be a God? Like, that makes no sense. But Islam, basically the final season, you know, if you just watch it, aka just read the Quran, okay? Like, if you just watch the final season, it just makes more sense. So, we have the entire season understood. We have the entire show. What's the show? The show is the truth. The show is Islam. The show is monotheistic religions. If you watch season one, two, and three, most Christians are stuck at season two. They haven't watched season three yet. All like Christians, just watch season three. Then you understand everything else. Like everything else in the past about what Jesus was meant to be and what message he was meant he, he meant to portray, it'll make it'll make sense if you read the Quran. Because like I said, the Quran is the final testament. Old New Testament there's the Old Testament, New Testament, and then the Quran is the final testament. Right? So that's why we don't need any other scripture after the Quran. 
because it's the final truth. God sent down Muhammad and created him for the intention of putting an end to all the religions and like just like just basically like settling. Like God was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna make a, an amazing creation, Prophet Muhammad, and he's going to reveal the final truth of me, the final truth of truth. And that's what Islam is, right? And you can start to see how Islam is the fastest growing religion for a reason. It's because the truth will be found out anyway. The truth will be exposed anyway. You know, now Islam is very popular in the Middle East, but it now is starting to spread throughout the entire world. And eventually, Islam will conquer the world. Islam will be spread out through many nations and it will start to grow even more, right? Why? Because Islam is the truth, you know? Islam is the final season. You know, when, when, you, when there's new people that are atheists like me, when they try to observe Islam and Christianity, most of them will pick Islam over Christianity because it will just make more sense, like I said, because the Quran is just the final testament. So it's just a more updated version of Christianity. So they'll just end up picking Islam over Christianity from an atheistic perspective. That's me, right? I was an atheist before and Islam made more sense to me as an atheist. Because it just made more sense that there was just the final religion, there was the final truth. So I'm gonna pick the final. Like, why am I gonna pick the final? Like, why am I gonna pick season two when I can just pick season three? The final. I can just pick the final season. Like, yes, maybe Christianity does have the truth, but why don't I just why don't I, why don't I just pick the most updated version? Why don't I just pick season? Why why don't I just pick the final religion? Like, if there's an iPhone, if there's an iPhone 15, why am I gonna get iPhone 10? Like why don't I, why don't I just get the up, mo, most updated version, which is the iPhone 15? Why am I going to go out of my way and downgrade myself down to an iPhone 10 when I can afford an iPhone 15? That's the same thing. It's like well, like when you observe these religions, you're like, let me just pick the most updated version. Okay, Islam, boom, done. That's what it is.